And welcome to you, Go Market Update Charts of the Day. It is Thursday, the 13th of July, 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, US equities moved higher with more than three to one advances again after that US CPI number came in softer than expected. Of course, US earnings season starts this week, some of the big banks reporting over the next couple of days. US futures are mildly positive in the Asian session and Asian markets are higher in today's trading so far following that strong US lead. ASX is up around 1.2%, all sectors to the upside at this stage. And European futures pointing to a fairly neutral open. The VIX is moving downwards. The US dollar index dropped again overnight after that CPI data to hit two month lows. Lower again in Asia so far. As a result, we're seeing gold move higher breached that key 1940 level and is now near 1960 resistance. Copper also did okay, sitting just below that 200 EMA and above that important 380 level we referenced yesterday. And oil has moved higher again to end of April levels. Bitcoin still holding between 30 and 31 in that range. And on the data front, it's quite a busy day. We've had Australian inflation expectations, which were slightly up unexpected. And at last month's levels, Chinese trade balance, UK GDP, Eurozone growth forecast report. And then in the US this evening, we've got PPI and weekly jobs all due today. Lots for the markets to digest. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. It's worth having a look at an all chart because, as I said, this is a significant move we've seen this week. You can see that key level at 75 on the WTI contract and Pushing higher again in Asia today. In the medium term, we could certainly see this up to test 80 if this trajectory continues and we see this continued buy-in pressure. As we said, we are at levels not seen since the end of April. Uh, this would represent, a, if we do get to 80, it would represent a another 5% increase from where we are now. But of course, we have got to breach this 200 EMA that's sitting in the middle of where we are now on that $80 level. With stocks, we're like in Tyro payments. You can see there, we had a move higher. We've talked about this stock before, a little retracement. Now we're getting some more buy momentum into this stock. Uh, we see this as an important level at around about 128. We're just sitting a couple of cents below that at this stage. Certainly in the short term, we could expect if we breach this resistance, and move up to that 200 MA at around about 139. That would be an 8% move higher. You can see also this was support at this level here, resistance and support there. So quite an important level and one that's certainly possible if we breach 128. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.